Good morning. So uh, this morning, uh, it's it's kind of early this morning. It's early even for me. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so this morning I woke up and uh, my uh, eldest daughter decided she was awake also and we were going to work out. So it's like, okay, let's hit it. So we're doing our exercise routine and whatnot. We have it broken down by days and we go in cycles. And it's just kind of cool to sit there and be working out with her. Uh, even at this almost but ugly hour of the day. <laughs> um, and so as we're having this discussion about things and talking about dad quote of the day, uh, the company, the things that we're developing, and it's just, it's kind of cool to see how these things are coming together. And we were talking about our latest project and I was explaining how I had to make a pivot because of not going in a particular direction, um, finding a different teammate that would be able to to handle certain things of it. And then we just kind of like pivoted aspects of the project because yesterday I interviewed somebody and it just went south. I'm like, yeah, never mind. They're not doing this. We're gonna we're gonna handle it in a different fashion. And I'm talking to her about it and I'm talking to her about different ways that I've pivoted. And she said, Well dad, what about X? Genius, literally freaking genius idea. Okay. She's 13. Okay. Genius idea. And, you know, it comes down to the things about like listening to our kids, um, sharing our wins and our losses so that they understand where we're coming from. They can then contribute. I mean, it's, there is nothing more frustrating than the phone. I remember when we were growing up and we had these little football games and you'd be pushing the button and the, the guy would be tracking around and whatever and you'd eventually score a goal or something. I remember the first Commodore 64s and the Atari systems and all of this. And, you know, they were fun for that time, but they were nowhere near as addictive as these phones are now, right? So the kids are on their iPad, the kids are on their phones, whatever the case is. In my mind, I want them away from the things that might contribute to values coming up in them as much as I can that are not our family values, that are not the values that we espouse and that we ascribe to, because I just don't want that crud in them to the degree that I can manage it, okay? So... I spend time talking to them about things. Now, there are times, obviously, I'm off by myself. They want to be off by themselves. Cool. But we're having these conversations. You know, it used to be so common in the United States in particular up until, well, geez, the 70s and 80s. People would literally sit around a dining table and have a nightly dinner together. Now, it's very uncommon and it's really sad. It, it still happens. It's just not anywhere near as prevalent as it used to be. So, you know, little things like what we do with Chef Dad, Chef Kid, that idea of getting families back together and, uh, and strengthening that way is, is really important to us. But I was also thinking about how it impacts decision making, okay? How is she able to learn from my mistakes and my thought process in the decisions that I have to make if I'm not sharing that with her? In fact, also sharing the context or the reasoning behind what happened, the history of it, and where I'm trying to get to. Well, she already knows where I'm trying to get to long-term. Where am I trying to get to short-term? How does the one thing affect the other? And that goes back right back into what we were talking about, decision-making, right? You've got positive momentum and you've got negative momentum. You have um, a win-lose mentality, talks about scarcity, talks about destructive worldviews, talks about stealing from the rich to give to the poor instead of teaching the poor to go make their own. I mean, you know, it's that concept. And that comes from the, the balance of conscience and intuition. So she is very, very good on her conscience and very, very good on her intuition, but she is different than her sister who is very good on her conscience and very good on her intuition, but they are different in the way they have grown and in the way they have matured and their life lessons. And I'll talk to her sister and 
we'll be talking about a particular topic. And all of a sudden she says, well, dad, I know about X, Y, Z. And then the, my first thought is like, wait, what? <laughs> you know about, you know, what's going on with people trying to kidnap kids and the fentanyl usage and, you know, all kinds of other things. She's like, yeah. But it, it is, it's, it's unique to hear a 10 and a 13 year old talking about these things from their perspective. They're three years apart. Now, when they're 23 and 26, I won't worry about it as much because I would assume that they've built up layers and layers and layers of wisdom and experience and decisions and that they're on a very positive track, a very constructive track that has an abundance worldview and, and things about different things like that. But it's just, you know, it's cool to see. Anyhow, so that was what was on my mind today. It's like, share things with your kids, you know, suck it up. If it's embarrassing, if it's embarrassing, laugh at yourself, right? If it's hurting on the inside, maybe talking about it and why it hurts will actually help bring your family together. We'll certainly tie that relationship with you and your kids together better. And by doing so, well, you know what? You've strengthened your family, you've strengthened your our communities, and you've strengthened our country and our planet because there's a lot of woke leftist BS that's going on. And we need as many strong families as we can in order to push back and resist against all of this garbage. So, all right, listen, bless you. Have a wonderful day. Uh, it's Saturday morning and I have to go get the oil changed in the van. <laughs> so that's just, and run errands. So that's all kinds of fun. But let me pray for you, bless you, and send you on your way. Father, I thank you for all the moms and the dads and the kids that listen to these podcasts and watch them. Lord, I am grateful for the opportunity to, to share what's going on in our family and to share my thoughts and to share how I'm raising my kids and the, the ideas about decision-making and just the psychology of bringing us all together. Lord, I am grateful for the grace you pour into us. And I ask that you would pour even more abundantly into all of the people that participate in these podcasts. Lord, bless them, strengthen them, and give them continued discernment to see what's going on so that they can become better at protecting and moving forward. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, take care. We'll catch you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.